Okay, guys, we're back. I think we're definitely gonna go with that one because it's super, super amazing. If anything gets fucked. Um, whoa. That's pretty cool, but it seems like... Oh, man, he's caught in the fire. It seems short range. We're gonna go with that and see if maybe there's a... Mm-mm. The... I think we're gonna stick with that. It seems pretty cool. Just make that highlight go away. All right. But to see you made it out in one piece, Ace. I'm guessing that means the scanner's been destroyed. Of course, they destroyed your doubting is becoming intolerable. He never doubted you. He just asked that they were destroyed. And he ignores that guy being... I mean, maybe they've worked together so long that he's just like, Wow, you're a huge asshole. I'm just gonna ignore it completely because fuck you. You do a good job. I pay you. But I wish you would never talk to me because you're a piece of shit. Good job, Ace. Now we can move on to our acquiring identification code. Jonas and Mo Moba. Jonas and Moba have been investigating rumors that about that while you were destroying the scanners. Tell Kent what you have figured out. Rumors? Just came back from the planet Zorn... Zornth? Zornth. The planet is located in the system and it's cold. There's also a lot of hostiles. They managed to destroy a few before leaving. They appear to be guarding one ship that is bigger than the others. If you have to guess, I'd say that ship is with... has the identification code. Oh, fuck yawns. Getting there won't be easy. You have to fly through a canyon with heavy defenses. The ship is located on the other side of that canyon. Yeah, you know, we're spaceships. We could just go straight down at the planet to them. <laughs> Whatever. They have no choice. A, start heading towards the canyon. Yeah, do a... Uh, Figure out the identification code. Don't let the cold distract you. How would the... Okay. We're going to read this and then talk about why it's stupid. Don't let the cold distract you. Your ship is designed to work under all atmospheres. Contact me again once you reach the canyon and we'll see exactly what you're up against. Try to keep warm out there. He just said that the ship doesn't give a damn about temperatures. Meaning that the pilot inside won't be impacted by the outside cold. And then they made a big deal about it being cold. Also, this one man, John, who runs the Saviors program, is a fucking genius. He's created these ships that can go in any environment, any environment whatsoever, and be, uh, why did my shields go down? Um, oh no, oh shit. Um, they can provide, survive in any environment you could ever imagine. And, you know, he had to make all this by himself. There'd be people throwing money at him every, from all directions. Just be like, you can design this stuff, come work for us. Design all of the things. And then we'll be billionaires we'll make up even a number we'll be we'll be gufibillionaires gufibillionaires it's a totally made up number that make an impossible amount of money especially if humans had reached space and met aliens because then they'd be like there is no way Unless, like, there's some weird new... Whatever the world is in this case is some new coalition of things that aren't the same as they are now. There's no way America would ever not have secret technologies against an alien, even, like, an alien race. Even if they're like, we come in peace, we're gonna share our technology with you, you share our, your technology with us. They would go, sure, here's all this stuff. Okay, I feel like my shields just go down randomly at times. Um... But yeah, they would do what I just said. Sure, we'll share all of the technology, and then as soon as they are finished with the meeting, we'd be like, all right, now what secret technology are we going to design in case they try to kill us with a weird combination of their technology and our technology? Like, come on. And then, probably, the aliens would do the same thing. Um... For being somebody that was managed to create a 
thing that stole all of Earth's technology. They seem pretty stupid. And defeatable by the guy with the look terrible. All these people that look hideous, like hideous monsters. I'm just gonna say that all the characters in this game look disgusting. We don't get any new weapons, we just get perks now. We gotta do that because we want. Actually, we don't really give a damn about that. Who cares? We do want this. So what does this do? More secondary weapon, fire speed and capacity, damage, more capacity again, damage. Mm, aggressive. Cause all, all weapons fire faster while shields are down. Increase damage from all weapons after losing break. All your weapons fire faster while your hull is below 50%. Boost Berserk combo breaker and revenge by 50%. So, oh, that's just all previous things. Increase your firing speed by 0.5 seconds up to 3 seconds by... What? I don't understand what the hell that means. Increase all damage done by 10% in front fire mode. Reduce side damage. Okay, so side damage sucks then. Not firing for two seconds. Reduces bullet spread, so... Increases damage by... Increases all damage. Yes, reduce. Increase front. Okay, so you know what? We need... That one. But we can get it by throwing a point here because that's a better thing, I think. Do more damage, why not? All right, it's time to move into the canyon. The canyon appears to be well guarded. There are lots of things to destroy. Just take care not to hit the walls or, you know, you're gonna blow up. Wow. What may seem difficult to you will be a breeze for me. Get prepared to see how real men handle things. Their egoism? I don't think that's a word. Egotism? Eh, whatever, it doesn't matter. You have the right attitude. You have to get through that. What? I think you should hurry up, though. If they figure out what they're doing, they're trying to evacuate the ship. Yeah, whatever. Move on with that. We'll talk to you again when you do it. Um, I don't think he has the right attitude of just being a huge asshole. He's got the right attitude of, I can do it. But not like, you know goes back to like the there's this whole I think in storytelling in general as of late and maybe it's just been a thing that's always been a thing but I've only noticed it because I'm paying attention now um, but like the grizzled anti-hero kind of character exists as a trope and sometimes that's cool but you have to walk a fine line between making them a huge asshole and making them, like, cool enough that you like them. Unless, like, I don't know, you're writing some sort of very complex thing where maybe your main character isn't exactly likable, but has to, you know, whatever. Other storytelling things. But if you're making something like this and you're trying to, like, I feel like this maybe what they're trying to pull off is that... You know, he don't take no guff from nobody. He's a cool, badass dude. But, like, since the writing's so bad, he's just a huge piece of shit. He's not cool. You just hate him. You know. The other characters are way better. And also the... I mean, the... Vice President Manning? You hate him too, but I think you're really supposed to. Like, they did a good, okay job if that's what they wanted. Because he is an, also an antagonistic piece of shit, but for, like, I guess the reason is that they work together and he just hates you, your boss, because in their story they worked together previously and your boss was like, hey, those aliens are going to be dicks to us at one point, so we should be prepared. And everybody's like, man, you're so 
jerky. Why would you say that about nice people? But yeah, I'm also given the story of like, oh, you have to fly through the canyon to get this. Those missions in other games where you have to fly through canyons are cool, but they don't ever explain any of the stuff, so it doesn't matter. But having to have them be like, oh, you have to fly through this canyon to get there. No, I don't. I'm a spaceship. I could just fly above the whole damn thing and then come down right in front of whatever I need to get and blow it up. So, let's master this because it's amazing. And then keep going forward. And he just keeps calling him old man. I mean, he's balding, but he actually doesn't look like an old person, really. I mean, God, they look like they probably are the same age. Whatever. Maybe not, but doesn't look like he's sign like. Doesn't look like their age difference is anything significant. Is my point. I've had about enough of this planet. Time to get the code and get the hell out of here. And then a lot of information on the ship. It obviously has guns. Yep. And it's gonna shoot you. It obviously has guns, and I'm guessing it's not afraid to use them. Why? Why that line? You've gotten this far, so I know you can take it down. You better know it, old man. I've already proven that I'm capable over and over again. At least you're not doubting me anymore. I don't think he ever doubted anyone. After destroying your ship, don't forget to investigate the wreckage. This mission depends on you getting that code. After getting the code, we can go take it to can take it to their home, blow them up. Be careful, it might be a tricksy bastard. Bastage. I mean, like I was saying, this is really the silliest shit. Oh no! Ah! Ooh, ah! Ooh, ee, ee, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah! Shit! Actually, no. How many seconds is it? Every fifteen? I forgot. Um. Also, it doesn't really matter. I'm blowing this thing up a lot. These ones are. I don't remember. I feel like they were harder. Maybe they're just harder to dodge on the higher difficulty. Um. No, no, I'm out of ammo. Um. Yeah, here we go, though. I feel like. This isn't too hard. I actually have a lot of games like these. I think these are just games. These kinds of games are just game. Bleh. I am just fans, a fan of these types of games. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. I feel... Man, I don't know. I've said my brain is stupid before, so... I think that's part of it. Um, we exploded something. But, like... This is kind of a... I mean, it's not... It's, it's not hard, as you're seeing that I'm not going to die or anything like that. But, it takes a little bit of concentration. I'm saying that, like, again, complimenting this person's design. I think there's just one guy, maybe two. I'm trying to remember the credit scene sequence, which is just like one page. I think it may just be one dude that did most of the game. I think, like, you know, this isn't bad. Like, he can do a good. I got the railgun, which I would also switch to if I didn't already have these cool missiles. Um, I think. After not firing up for two seconds. Ugh, that's so stupid. Fire faster, his shield's down. I don't care about any of that. I just. You know what? I don't. What? What? There we go. I don't really want that. It's not gonna help me at all. Let's make that go away. But we're gonna pick it because, you know. Um. You know what? No. I think we're going to cut this one and say, hey, that was a good part. Um, thank you for watching with this one. And I will see you guys in the next part of Saviors.